Felder throws a big high lob, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Jerry Felder makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lining up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 57 yards and no interceptions. First down and four wideouts in the game. First down, 10 yards to go. Calls him down to the backfield, and the clock continues to run. Number 94 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive wow. coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Well, gets the call again and ends up losing about three. Credited with the tackle for a loss of three on the play. Third and 13. Felder threw that one away. Incomplete pass. Fourth down coming up. points here we're gonna bust to the line and block this kick fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field where launches the 51 yard attempt and he knocks it through the upright Andre Ware really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. Ware hits a boomer down the field. Stacker decides to take it out of the end zone. Left down at the 21. Leonard Stecker took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. Second down, three wide out. Number 29 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 29 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Johnson throws this one deep down the right sideline, and it's caught at the 47. 20, 
15, five, touchdown! Number 83 is going to make the catch right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. They're all tied up now, and that is a big touchdown. And now they have a chance to go up on top. Number seven is back for the point after. Archuleta will hold the kick. Now the point after, and it's good. It's good. Number seven kicks it away. Number 28 fields the kickoff at the seven. Dodges a tackle, tackle that to 30. Number 28 is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Flippers take the field with the clock at 30. Second down, and the clock is now at 12. Williams takes it for his eighth carry, and a hit wide left, back down at the 25. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Bison with a small lead, 7-6. to six. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Now look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Flippers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Not much action early on, so we'll pick it up. I can do full games later. Steamers. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Here are today's lineups, and there are some real standouts, Peter. These two guys are unmatched. If you go up against them, you've gone up against the best. Just try to keep them from tearing the game open. It's the best you can hope for. But they're not the only team featuring superstars. Not one, but two of the finest receivers ever to play the game. What a spectacle we have in these two stars. There's no way to contain them both. All right, Peter, thanks. Now let's go down to the coin toss. How you doing? Let's do this. Gentlemen, please make your call. I want some heads. Give us heads. It is tails. We'll kick. 
Bishops have won the toss. It's a left to kick. Barney boots it downfield, and we're underway. Burgess is coming out with it. Stop at the 22. Mike Burgess took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Steamers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Settles, takes his first carry of the game and picks up the first down. They got game. First and ten. Five on the play clock. Settle. Gets the toss and runs into traffic. Tackle back to 35. Second Keep your eyes open over there. The steamers. We don't need an open. Oh, man. Oh, Derek Wittick did a great job back there by not only getting the sack, but getting him way back for a huge loss. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Yeah, monstrous D, the past few downs for these guys. This one deep down the right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Wait a minute. We have a flag down on the plate. Let's get the call from the field. Pass interference. Number 21. The ball is placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic is down. Nick Carter slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First and ten from the Bishops, 24 yards. and that will bring up second down. A pickup of four yards on the play. Hodge with the tackle.
Second down, five yards to go. Puts his arm into this one, and it's intercepted. The ball's loose. They get it back. Finally stopped at the 27. Wait a minute. We have a flag down on the plane. Let's get the call from the field. Roughing the passer, number 93, defense. And watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented, it's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the... will get the handoff and gets up field. Tackled at the eight. He picks up five on the play. Cox with the tackle. Second and four. We compete, completed a pass all drive. I don't think we have. There we go. There you go, Hind Ward. It's caught at the three. Brought down at the one. It'll be first and goal. Ryan Stewart played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Good play coming up. Strong uh, to back answer your question, Reek, uh, Reek TC, I have a whole series Settle. that I want to do. I want to do a full season, and, and those will be in for the score. full games, but... I just need to do the editing portion of that. This is a nice first. run here. And when you they watch the replay, live Dan, like check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 23 yards and one touchdown. Point after. Stewart on the hold. the extra point and it's good. Don't get down guys, this is nothing, nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Peterson boots it away. Lewis fields it way back at the seven. Oh shit. Dodges a tackle. Michael Lewis is a damn good kick returner, so he scares me when he tries to nice kick us and like that. Run back after the catch. Good job. Okay. Oh, Nickel. The Bishops send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 33-yard line. Brooks. 
Brooks throws this on a rope. It's complete at the 43. Hop hard at the 46. It will be first down. Jim Zorn is all alone out there, and he takes full advantage. Where's the coverage? Well, that's good concentration, because sometimes the most open looks are the easiest to drop. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First and ten. Ball up at 46-yard line. Loses one on the play, and that will bring up second down. Damian Gilden got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second and 11 from your Bishops, 45 yards. Number 26 gets the call again and will gain close to six. Number 26 was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down with a split backfield. From the Steelers, 49 yards. Come on! Oh! Ah. Stays in the pocket, slides down at the 45. Fourth down coming up. Oh, we did tackle him short. Man. If I were the Saints, I'd challenge that. But. Fourth down, and they're going for it. I didn't think they were actually going to hike it. I thought they were going to try to draw us off sides, but I'll take it. Tyrone Peterson goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. That had Watch no this. business oh, yeah. Sacks don't get much easier than that. They don't convert uh, on fourth down. They really don't go anywhere on that one. Except the sidelines with their tails between their legs. They'll turn it over on down. The Steamers had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their 49-yard line. Quick, carries it for the sixth time and moves forward for seven. Colston Settles was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. They move the ball, and it will be second down. You be ready out there. Three. You hear me? Settles will get the carry on second down and ah, run, run! Oh, oh, oh just robs me of a three. touchdown. It'll be first and goal. Oh, look at this guy go to town. This is a great run. What an athlete, Peter. A fantastic display. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 71 yards on seven carries. Thank God. Usually after a big run, the running back will take playoff. Play coming up. Strong out there runner now. in the backfield and a great receiver on the line. Yes! Touchdown! 
Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> this is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. Peterson. Here's the point after, and it's good. The point is good. Peterson doesn't put a whole lot of oomph into this pick. Lewis fields it at the 15. Dodges a tackle. Tackled at the 32. Mark Lewis got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The Bishops were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their 32-yard line. Brooks Ooh. makes the pass, and it's caught at the 48. Finally stopped at the 46. Jim Zorn had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. First time they've gone deep today. And you have a rookie James it. Harrison a on this spot. This I early, might. Dan, but there's a lot of game left to him. play, and I'm sure the defense is already looking to make adjustments. The default on these oh. rosters, he really only out on special teams. He's not starting. But I might need to need to do something with. Him. He picks up nine. Walter Payton had a defender playing in close, but shook him at the last moment. You can't coach that. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Stop at the 41. Damian Gilden makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first. I'm sensing a pass here, but oh come on! How can you let him complete that? Jim Zorn had three guys covering him. But look what happens. Incredible catch. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you. But we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy yeah. who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Rifles it out left side and it's tipped incomplete. <laughs> 
Number 27 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, two wideouts on the field. The Steelers, 32 yards. Down! Six. Uncorks a dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're on the defense. right -o, Dano. You know, they could have brought eight guys on that play. Wouldn't have made a difference. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 76 yards and no interceptions. Number 26 gets the toss and will end up losing a couple. Evan Townsend got a great jump on the plate. As a linebacker, though, man. James Harrison's not really the best. No. That's... Uh. And brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second and 12. We can salvage a field goal here. Ooh, he should have caught that. Right side and it's tipped. No good. Incomplete. All the passes they've been completing, they don't complete that one. Walter Payton seemed to be all over that one, but watch how it gets away from him. Ah, oh, there's just no excuse for that. You're a receiver, buddy. You catch those. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Steamers enjoying a lead 14 to nothing. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Still a long game. Barney from 30 yards out in. in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Barney, it's a boomer down the field. 
Burgess decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 21. That wasn't a good block. Burgess got out close to the 20 on that I should have had that corner and he's got another five more yards out of that. Really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Steamers got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. Oof. Cox tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That should have been Robert a pick. Cox read that one Probably right. a pick six. Let's close the yard our Potential own end zone. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. I need to stop making down. dumb reads. I did this last time I streamed. Marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 98, defense. The penalty. Pulls it in right side, and that's good for a gain of five. Ryan Stewart played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down from the eye. sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Nick Carter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. There. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Number 26 didn't haul that one in and it falls incomplete. 
Number 26 found an empty seam in the coverage, but the throw couldn't find him. Nothing frustrates an open receiver more. Second and ten. Ball at the 26 yard line. Brooks intercepted side and it's intercepted. One man to beat, brought down at the 17. Evan Townsend is there to pounce on the ball when the butter-fingered receiver drops it. Outstanding heads-up play, Dan. If your opponent is going to make a bonehead mistake like that, it's almost impolite not to take advantage. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Steamers, stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at the 17-yard line. Oh shit, man, I had Hines Ward so wide open. Damn it. Jeff Howard moved this offense back a few with a great sack in the backfield. That was a great call. That'll be his first sack of the game. Uh, you gotta protect me, guys, so I can make a read. Second down with the tight end right. Shallow cross. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Fourth down ahead. Oh, shit. Peterson kicks from 38 yards out, and... This is this one to the right. Eric Peterson muffs a kick here that's not a shorty, but isn't that long either. Oh, that has got someone to out rattle him. Oh, poor on guy. the sideline. What he really needs is a big hug. Yeah. Pop the Maybe headset a off foot. a camera, man, Maybe with that he's not careful kick. in New Jersey. The Bishops were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 28-yard line. Oh, wide open. You... No! Stop him, please! Yeah. Man. I gotta double Joe Horn every single time if he keeps making catches like that. Wide open. But he still finds his man. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 132 yards and one interception. Thanks for giving me all that time, boys. 
That's why his boys in the trenches get paid the big bucks, right? Number 26, two's up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Second and six from the Steelers. Oh, yeah. Down! Rip, rip, rip! Townsend tackles him for a short loss. Evan Townsend read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. You ain't playing like yourself today, man. We need you to pick it up. I need some help, man. I can't do it by myself. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Down, <laughs> Brooks just pointed this one, and it's incomplete. Terry Stallworth looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. And John this play Carney was is going to make proof. this one. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, six yards to go. Barney from 29 yards out, and it's through the goal post, and good. Number 12 handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Barney boots the heck out of this one. Burgess decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Brought down at the 23. Mike Burgess got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Steamers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 23-yard line. Uh. It's intercepted. Locked down at the 46. Son of a bitch. What is wrong with me? The Bishops are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 46-yard line. Brooks takes the pass, and the reception's made at 37, and he's stopped right there. Number 88 had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. But, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Second and one. Six. Gains five on the play, and that brings 
up first down. Number 26 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Let's move it back. I don't want to see the kicker coming out here. First down with a split backfield. Number 26 gets the call again and heads out right. Eventually tackled at the 21. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First and ten. Jeez. Payton catches it over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Walter Payton has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. <laughs> I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Hmm, uh, that sounds pretty good. Oh, hey, Eldest. What's up? Sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Great effort to get him into the end zone, Peter. Yeah, that's how to play the game. A hundred and... Ah, Terrell Smith. Uh, b -b -b uh. ten percent. Uh, for the most part, yes. Um, I gave star ratings out now to. The extra point. I, I um, it's good. what's the word I'm looking for here? I doled out star ratings due to uh, Pro Bowl appearances. So, like Mike Lewis being a gold is because he made a Pro Bowl that year. the field. Burgess decides to take but out technically he's zone. not even the best uh, kick returner. Mike Burgess uh, to he's not the best kick returner the in these 20, rosters that I made. Uh, it's also Hall there. From his special teams coach. I believe he was also I remember correctly I think he also made a, a, We're right where we be a in this game. Let's keep plugging away. all pro team that year. Settle gains three yards, and that will bring up 
second down. But like in game, he's not that good of a receiver. Receiver uh, Joe Horn is still your best receiver. Second um, down, two wide outs. I remember on putting the field. Mike Lewis's catch rating pretty low. It will be first down. Colston settles, played smart, and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First and ten. Oh shit! I, man, I I noticed the clock, but I guess I didn't press the button. The call. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Delay of game. Believe it or not, eldest, I, I was up 14 nothing at some point. Feels like ages ago. I think Dante Stallworth was your number three that year. Stewart throws a heater right sideline and he connects for a pickup of 14 on the play. Ryan Stewart had only one spot where he could put the football, Dan, and that's right where it goes. Now watch how he sneaks this ball past multiple defenders. Yeah, it takes a considerable amount of poise and confidence to execute a play like this. Either what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, one man back. Oh, it wasn't cheese. It was just a bunch of bad decisions by me. I have been fully committed to playing like ass cheese this entire second quarter. Picks off the pass because he plays the zone so well here, completely snookering the quarterback. That's just how you do it, folks. You can't coach that. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. Man, this entire second quarter has been a nightmare. The Bishops could take the lead going into the locker room as their offense will start at their 46 yard and line. And they're getting the ball to start the next half. So much fun. Balls down to the backfield and the clock will continue to run.
Second and 12 from Roy Bishop's 43 yards. Number 26, carries it off the toss and picks up the first down. First down, both wide outs to the right. Come on. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Warren Brooks made an errant throw back there, and I believe he's a bit rattled right now. Check him out. That would have been a big play and a big first down, Peter. They just don't sync up. Good call. Maybe next time it'll work. Three. Second and ten from the Steelers. 42 yards. The gameplay on my end is really smooth. I have no problem playing, but streaming it is a different story. It has everything to do with the crappy capture card that I got. It's not great. Not great for streaming, I should say. For recording video, it's, it's great. I can record in, in 1080p if that I wanted to. But streaming, it just the defense comes up big and force the incompletion. Way to prevent the big play. It'll be second down. football and left no chance for a reception there on second down they try for the first but it's played well by the defense that will bring up third down nice pressure that time third down and this is the seventh play of the drive well during the halftime show I'll take a look at what OBS is doing real quick so Down. Well, streaming from my 360, yardage, but the best I can do is 480p. They get some yards out of that play, but they are short. Yeah, didn't get quite the punch they wanted to. yards out and they take the lead. And Barney puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. The field goal puts them in the lead, which is where they wanted to be heading into the locker room. Let's see if they can build on that slight lead in the second half. It's a boomer down the field. Burgess decides to take it out of the end zone. Drag down at the 18. Mike Burgess got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Steamers take the field with the clock at 20. The 
Kettle gets the toss and runs into traffic. One man to beat. Breaks uh. Finally popped out of bounds at the 49. First down. Mike Thomas eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain, and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops him, but way past the marker, this one's going to hurt. A big pick up there, and this defense cannot be happy. If there was any saving grace there, it was that they didn't give up six points as well. Boo! You on fire, man. Just out here grinding away like I always do. First and ten. Down. Six. I got your luck. I got your luck. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Settle. Takes the front line and rambles for about five. That was a good run, but it was Can't just too close to the game. half to oh, yeah. really matter. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Bishops with a small lead, 16 to 14. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The Steamers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Settles was able to make things pay off on the ground. A one-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Steamers strike first and go up by seven. After a stop on fourth down, this time at the 45. Settles is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground, and he makes the most of this one. A 41-yard play that set up a visitor's touchdown. Answering right back, the Bishops behind by 14. Brooks would find his target on this one. They close in a little. They are now down by 11. The Bishops on defense. Townsend would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Bishops down 14 to 3. Zorn came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. That set up a 30 yard field goal. The Bishops climb back into the game, now down by 8. Midway through the second, number 20 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Still midway through the second, the Bishops behind by eight. Number 26 got the carry here and he was able to break through. They climb back into the game, now down by one. The Steamers late in the second quarter. Number 20 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. The Steamers out in front, 14 to 13. Number 26 would make the first guy miss, and then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. That set up a 31-yard field goal. The Bishops take their first lead of the game and are now up by two. The Steamers creeping up on the end of the half. Settles is going to bounce this one to the outside and look at the execution up front. And he's in the clear. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that will do it. The Bishops are holding on to a lead, 16 to 14. All right, good work, partner. The Bishops will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 16 to 14. Now, let's get to the game. Sends it away to begin the second half. McAfee fields the second half kickoff at the 19. Great three, tackled at the 35. Gus McAfee made a mediocre kick a little more mediocre with a decent run back there.
The Bishops will start a drive with the lead for the first time this game. We'll begin at their 35-yard line. Zor this one. He picks up four on the play. Warren Brooks made a nice throw there. anybody in the secondary in this on this team mm. Got it right past the defender. He's been on uh, point with the short been pass so me up far, Dan. All that day. pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Second down from the eye. This one right side. It's complete at the 42. Runs out at the 45. Peyton made a nifty little run there and got the first. Nice job. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First and ten. Number 26 catches it in the flat and is at the 50. Walks down at the 48. Number 26 made the catch and I take with a few more yards. Way to fight for more, buddy. Another short, quick strike, and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan this offense has been executing, no doubt about it. Second and three from the Steamers, 48 yards. Evan Townsend made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He now has five tackles in the game. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. A little bit of Jacks versus Dime. They could run it here. a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Steven Flores couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air. The offense real is looking quick. My uh, job just texted me.
Okay, sorry about that. D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Man, I can't. That was an extremely dumb fake. Number man, oh just man. He's man to the mat when it counted. And he'll get his defense off the field as a result. Way to step up on fourth down. Hey, you think that offense wishes they hadn't gone for it, Peter? Well, I think they wish they had a little more to show for it than a couple of yards, a couple of bruises, and a bench uh, their They were texting they me about a job away, opportunity to go for it on place. Down. They were super now, vague about it. Them? Well, with the score I just this close, let them know. Say, like, I can work, but the other it's guy just... An edge. Depends on how many hours they want me for, et cetera, et cetera. Play it, play it, play it. Start back. Start back. Seven. We'll get the carry on first down, and we'll end up losing a couple. Jeff Howard read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Flag on the play. Let's listen to the call. Neutral zone infraction. Number 93, defense. Then they accept that one, although I would have declined it. I wonder what's going on down there. Second and six from the Steelers, 46 yards. to perfection on that last play. Four plays in a row, he's taken the load. They are moving through the defense. Hey, there's no reason to give it to anyone else right now. More gun split spread. First down from the shotgun. First and ten. Come on, Cordell Stewart. One big one, please. Ooh. Oh no! Intercepted. Come on! Trying to get the secondary off my behind. Every time I try and throw a long one, it either gets picked off or gets close to getting picked off. I don't think I've made. I don't think I've connected on a single long pass all day. see some volleyball nets around training camp. Another interception for his stats today, and I, I tell you, I can't remember. When I've seen a defensive performance like this. This guy's rewriting history. The Bishops had their last drive stalled at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own nine-yard line. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat and...
Get your head on straight. We can't have you throwing picks. I couldn't get away from the run. I should have just ate it. Cordell Stewart's QBR has got to be in the single digits. As many picks as I've thrown all day. Number 26 takes it off the toss and takes it off the field. Now Deuce McAllister wants to go off. This is a very good run for a sizable game, Dan. You can't we just don't let everybody do our defense. That. Play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Down with the tight end right. Stop at the 29. Warren Brooks saw nothing happening downfield, so he decided to scramble the last play, and that was not a bad decision at all. He had some room to work with. And he knew how to exploit it. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Stay ready, bud! Down! Front right! Front right! Washington penetrates and makes the stop the 25. Iowa Washington read that play perfectly and makes tackle pushing them back a few yards in the process great effort that's his second tackle so far this is a big one boys we need to stop hype it up hype it up Throws a bullet to the flat, and it's incomplete. Gary Stoller looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough completion. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with that guy. Second drop pass. Well, Dan, his inconsistency makes the coach very nervous, I can tell you that. Ellis lines up for the punt. The punt. Here I come, buddy. I'm coming. I'm going to buy the punt. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Burgess hauls it in at the 37. Right down at the 42. All right, all right. Great coverage, guys. The Steamers bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 42-yard line. Strong toss. Look alive, baby. Break. Second and seven. Down. Ten. Man, you all day. Single back. Quick. Settles. Gets the toss and runs into traffic. Ah. Throws it. At the 43. Merrill Hodge. You're yeah, really going to force us to pass. You know what's going to happen. Line, You're going to pick it off them again. Back a few yards in the process. Like you have the last Great seven effort. times. Nice job pass. eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third. Third and nine from the Steelers. 
Nice win. Nowhere. Peter, they cannot seem to no connect on the long the ball. Defense. They can there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, long. The timing is off. Steelers they right need now. to go to shorter passes. Bishops, 42 yards. Williams didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Damian Gilden just stuffed that play from the get-go. They'll think twice before coming to his area in the zone. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had their idea. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces hey. fall into place. Third down coming up. a bullet to the flat and caught well short of the markers however fourth down coming up number 26 couldn't quite get back to the line on that run and goes out of bounds and get past the line of scrimmage on that play fourth down coming up ellis lines up to punt after the three and out let's go let's go let's go ellis gets the and hunts it away burgess fields it at the 20 The Steamers offense takes the field and they will start at their own 24 yard line. Settles, will get the carry on third down, oh. and gets tackled short of the markers. 
Fourth down coming up. Ryan I'm Jackson tempted to go that for play, it, but makes the tackle behind the line, it's a disaster pushing them back a few don't yards get it. in the process. Oh. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. The Steelers. Miller takes the snap and punts it away. Lewis fields the punt at the 41. And at the 45. Mark Lewis fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick, kick gives punch. him some good field position. Maybe because I don't know why. I don't know why. The Bishops have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their 45-yard line. Watch out! Watch out! Six, bulldozes right of center and maybe picks up one on the play. Gain of one on the play. Number 67, credited with the tackle. Yeah! Let's Second go, D! Eight. Let's keep it up! 46 yard line. Down! Six! All right! Number 26. <laughs> Second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Bishops with a small lead, 16 to 14. Man, we need more out of you. Where you been today? Don't worry, man. I'm going to get turned around. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Smith gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get the pass off. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Ellis lines up for the punt. Yeah, <laughs> Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Burgess takes it at 22. Brown at the 24. Mike Burgess got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes. The Steamers haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 24 yard line. Play it, play it, play it. Settle takes his 25th carry of the game and gets wide left. Tackled at the 25. Austin Settles used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Will be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, nine yards to go. Yes. That will bring up first down. We need down. big runs from Jerome right now. Dan, they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got. Not but he had room to run. They are the total package. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 171 yards on 26 carries. Hey, man, what a huge game. You're the star for us today. 
I knew I was going to have one of those special days today. The steamers take it over and they take their first time out. Colston settles, makes a great run here, but the design run is far from foolproof. It's risky, but it's a lot easier when you've got such great blocking up front. Yeah, you don't want your quarterback smashing and bashing for yards. You want him to have a smooth ride all the way. Nice get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. You've been carrying us, man. Whoo, baby, I've been feeling good since the first whistle. his third tackle of the game. Let's run. Double week stretch. Let's make it count. Break. Second and 12 from the Steelers. Get the carry on second down and hits up the field. down hard at the 42. That will bring up. Up the yardage here. What a run. And he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 194 yards on 30 <laughs> carries. First and 10. Second down. Four yards on the play. Clemens with the tackle. Woo! Gonna Second keep adding to the highlight reel. The steamers, 38 yards. Oh, 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 Cordell Stewart has a QBR of zero. Jeez. Settle. Gets the handoff. That's kind of 
just a little Locked unfair. He, he had a touchdown earlier. Colston settles. Took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the O-line gets paid for. Again, he gets the ball, and they have stuck by the run all game. Peter, why so run heavy up to now? Well, it's worked, simple as that. If they can't come up with an answer, keep running it down their throat. First and ten from the Bishops. Yards. Oof. Nine uh. makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. They got a Jerry Knight gets a hand on right there. That's how you play D. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. on that play. That will bring up a third and long. I want to see you tighten up that side of the line. Steamers, 24 yards. Kicker's not the greatest, not so they allow a little there, but they do force a the, fourth down. Way to attack the ball. I don't have the most confidence going up for this, but it's centered. We should make this. Yes. Peterson picks it from 35 yards and. They take the lead. Eric Peterson takes the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more. He'd have made the highlight reel, not the way he would have wanted to. Doesn't get a hold of it very well. Lewis fields the kickoff at the 14. Brought down at the 31. Mark Lewis could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so so. Take the field with time winding down. They'll start at their 31-yard line. Brooks fires this one over the middle, and the uh, catch is made. The well, Joe Horn for a first down. The cap out of me again. Jim Zorn faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Four oh, white jerseys around him. The passing lanes didn't in even those do anything. Zones. Yeah, the defense has to try and close I'm really him out of there. I'm really or getting sick and tired of seeing completions by Joe Horn. I'd rather them complete it to anybody else. And they have a few good wideouts, too. Number 26. Dodges this way outright and chooses. 
up about four on the play. Second and Look alive on this one. Number 26 gets the ball uh. again and heads wide right at the 43. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. Why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. You know what? That's probably the shortest completion Joe Horn has had all day, so I'll take that. Even into the fourth. That is a well, he definitely put the crunch on the D with solid numbers in every quarter. What a one-man wrecking crew. This is it. Second and five. Don't know why you're hurting up so much. Here we go. There we go. One more run. stop. One more stop, please. Come on, Pittsburgh. Get your poop in a group just this one time. Third down. The clock is now at 116. Number 20. Stop him. Stop him. Is still running. It'll be okay. fourth down. Probably a field goal, yeah. And John Carney is a silver Go kicker. So he should make this. In all in all actuality, as bad as we've been on offense, we probably should lose, but Trying to Barney sweep one out anyway. From 46 yards out, uh, and they take the lead. Glenn Barney knocks through a good size kick. Watch here. Obviously, still very pleased to pull it off. Four for four. Fantastic job of kicking the ball so far. You gotta love kickers that are automatic like that. One downfield. Burgess decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 23. Just not out close to the 20 on that one, so now we kind of have to move through the air, air, which is something we have really not we've done effectively about zero times all day. Crazy because we have a pretty good receiving core, but we just Break. the steamers I don't know if it's just bad reads by me or well in their own black jerseys being everywhere. Or if it's the guys not getting open. Combination of all three of those things. What the heck? 
Where was that ball going to? That was off target there, incomplete. Last front, we're using quads, 50 double cross. All out here, break. And the clock is stopped at 18. Throws the beauty to the lights. The steamers will take a timeout. That's their second. the first. He's out of bounds Let's and that will stop the clock at that. eight. John Ward was smart on this play. Running out of bounds to stop the clock. It was the best thing he could have done to help his team. That would have been the nail in the coffin had he not run out of bounds. What? Ooh. The yeah, called it. We'll review the previous play. Whether the pass was caught in bounds. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Ooh, oh, that, that's, that's a catch. In bounds, this call's going to stand. After review, the play stands. The pass was complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. First down. No chance for three here, all right? Second down, tight end to the left. Yeah. Intercepted. Penis. Oh, the ball she rolled. With this one in the books, let's take a look back. Take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. And that last interception we'll was totally unnecessary, but it probably bought Number Cordell Stewart's uh, QBR here back to gets zero. Into position to pick this one off. Just salt in the wound. After driving 58 yards on 12 plays, Peterson would come on and connect on the field goal try. The Steamers connect on the field goal. Late into the fourth quarter, the Bishops down by one. Barney would be summoned for the long field goal try, and his kick would be right through. They take their first lead of the half and go up by two. The Steamers still late in the half. Stewart would find his target on this one. Big play by the offense, but they couldn't make it away on an interception later in the drive. 
And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Bishop squeaked out a win, 19 to 17. And now for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Jim Zorn showed exactly why yeah, he Joe a Zorn. Legend. Uh, sorry, what Joe a performance. Zorn is everywhere. No doubt that this isn't Athlete the last time everywhere. he'll showcase his talent. We'll be hearing much more from this guy eight as time goes on. But it felt like 18 receptions. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Couldn't go, couldn't get anything going over the air. Had to over rely on Jerome. I don't know, rating of 4.7. Five completions. So Joe Horn had five more receptions than our whole re whole team did combined. Laser arm? Yeah, Michael Lewis just has the return specialist ability. He doesn't have anything else. I believe his his catching is very is on par with like a bronze wide receiver. So the gold star just um let's see. Let me actually look Michael Lewis how well he did achievements wise in 2002.
Yes, first team all pro in 2002 in Pro Bowl. So that's why he's a gold. It's not reflective of his abilities as a wide receiver. More so his returnability that specific year. Um, if it were any other year, if I, th this was like an 03 roster, you'd be a bronze. Because the way I did uh, bronze, silver, gold was uh, bronze is if you made a Pro Bowl just any, at any point in your career. Uh, silver is you made a Pro Bowl that year. And then gold is like you either made first team all pro or something along that along those lines that year. Um, and I think I gave bonuses like guys that should be a bronze. I bumped up to a silver because they were in the Hall of Fame or because they have multiple Pro Bowls or something like that. But it's a person's star rating is reflective of their accolades, not necessarily their direct ability on the field. Um, there's a lot of positions where those two things coincide. Like, obviously, Randy Moss is a gold star wide receiver. That shouldn't even be a, a point. Even if, like, Ray Lewis is a gold star uh, linebacker, but... He had a bad year in 02, and he was injured for most of it. But, you know, just use your brain. Is is Ray Lewis a gold star linebacker? Yes. So, obviously, that's I gave him what should have been a silver year for him. He's a gold star because he's one of the greatest linebackers of all time. Um, but Michael Lewis's gold star is reflective of how well he did that year in specifically. Um I believe, if I'm not wrong, let me look this up real quick, but the 2002 New Orleans Saints, So your pro bowlers for that year are Deuce McAllister, Joe Horn, Michael Lewis, and Fred McAfee. And I believe every single one of those guys is at least a silver star. Let's see. Yes. And I know off the top of my head, McAllister and Joe Horn are both silvers. So it should make sense why why each player is ranked the way they are, right? And I believe, um, if memory serves, I did not touch Michael Lewis's speed, but I did touch things like his route running and his catching ability and things like that. So, yes... In the most generic and technical sense, he is a silver star wide receiver, but really in the game, he plays like a silver star kick returner. So, I'm sorry, gold star kick returner, because he was an he was an all pro uh, all pro first team. So, all pro first team as a kick returner means that you're a gold star kick returner. Make sense? Clear as mud? I hope so. Alright, I'm gonna shut this stream down for the night. Uh, it's late-ish here. 
I'll probably be turning into bed pretty soon, so I definitely don't have time for an extra game, so. Good night to whoever's left.